And the green. And the green. Mosquito. Dogs. 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 Uh, dogs probably uh, are native to Australia. You know why? There's a typical wild dog over here called dingo. Have you seen any dingo uh, when you toured the other parts of Australia? Dingoes look just like a dog, exactly a dog family, but it is not domestic. Uh, it belongs to the family of wolf and fox and dog. So dog is definitely not the animal which was introduced over here from the there's more to India. Just call just can't call India as India. two guesses dog but which was very wild and very rough and elephant um, elephants are found everywhere in Asia the Asian elephant is found from India into all of Asia except Australia maybe rats rats <laughs> so, uh, is that your answer sir Yes, yes. Right. And you come from Bangalore or Mangalore? Mangalore. Bangalore. Mangalore. Mangalore. We are all from Mangalore. Yeah. Are you a teacher or, or engineer or professor? <laughs> professor in science? Yeah. No, no, no. Chemistry. 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 Botany. So Only chemistry or botany? Yeah. Geology. Physics, chemistry. Physics and chemistry. Very good subjects, but you didn't have anything to do with the rats. Why did you come up with rats? They're rodents. They're They're rats. They're rats. Did you realize when you saw the kangaroo yesterday, the kangaroo also belongs to one of the families of the rat? So why would they bring it? The kangaroo is nothing but the biggest rat you can find in the world. And why would they bring a rat all the way from India? They could have even brought it from England. Because from India, they've already been to England long time ago. So they could have brought it <laughs> over oh, yeah. here. Guys, are we uh, just passing another beautiful town called Lawn. Again, Lawn has a history back going back to more than 150 years. And Lawn also was an important town during those days. 